Okay, Todd. Okay, the first one I want to get to, because the other one's going to take every minute probably, it all depends. But your ordinance um, that you wrote up to uh, quiet us down, first of all, where we are your residents, you know, the first thing is you don't really want to shut us down because you don't like something that they were saying. Yeah. I get to talk. Right and and for him to just come here all organized with an ordinance already written up with your signature waiting on a piece of paper is not very cool. Because all you're doing is pushing us even yeah, further to combat you on all what is going on with the board and how we feel now. We're not here telling you that we're happy. And you should be listening to that. I've been telling you, you know, I don't feel right about things around here for quite a while. And I'm just telling you right now, you cannot grant this man authority that you don't possess. You three supervisors possess the power. He cannot be granted power and thrusted by you, period, at his ordinance or his um, planning commission. So he can't eject people. He can't write up these documents saying to, uh, he, you can grant him authority. That is not constitutional. And I'll challenge you on every part of that. You hold no power to grant him power. Now, do you understand what I'm trying to say and how that was written? And I don't care what Curry, Ruby, Ruby Curry, or the, um, what's that, the Minnesota Township Association, I mean, they're probably, they're non-profits, so they're, they're probably Soros funded, maybe, you know what I mean, to protect people for type of fraud stuff. So, you know, we only, only speculate. We don't trust the Township Association, period, because they don't, they don't benefit us, the residents, at all. They benefit you guys. And you've got to stop playing with us with these ordinances, man. It's not cool, Bob, and it's going to come back and it's going to haunt you. And it's yeah, going to really haunt you guys. I'm just saying, you cannot grant this man authority. And he's going to sit and write an ordinance, and you agree to everything he says. And I don't think you know what you're talking about or what you're signing in, into ordinance. And you got these other guys agreeing with it. You can't grant him power. Now, do you understand that? He only possesses the power that's in his descriptions. And that's so forth you. You, can, you only have the power of your descriptive powers as supervisors, judges, equal powers. Now, just please bear with me because you got to understand, you got to stop this man from letting us speak. Because it's going to get really, really, really heated and people are not liking this, Jan. We're not liking it. We don't, if, we, if you got a problem, you can't have him write an ordinance for it because that's what it's starting to look like. Now do you understand what I'm saying? You can't empower him. You can't empower him. You can't write ordinances to break laws either. Well, that's what they share. You got something to share with me? No. Just... Well, you're over there giving me like a little kid here, man. And we're, we're, we're conducting business. Conducting. We're being lawful over here, and we're using our time wisely. Yeah, right. And you're over there smirking and smiling and giggling like a bunch of little girls in the back room or something there. Now, we're serious here, and you can't grant them power, is all I'm saying. So that ordinance that you wrote is no good. You can, you can as the chairperson, probably, in, 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 you know, enforce this type of stuff. He can't. He holds no power. Zero. Russell, I'd like to know, too. Why was the sheriff here last time we there last time I was here? Because they gave us the, the new ordinances. They knew we weren't gonna like it. Uh, why was this who, who hired the sheriff? He, he was free. free. He was volunteer. Oh they're not free. It's so well, it takes away you guys have somebody like that come here and make sure he's not armed. Because you, you know if did he's picking sides, you know, if I want to know what side he's on. I didn't see no bill. Hey, they, you're, you, what, what this does is we don't like it taking resources. Wait a minute now. You're telling me that you just showed up here? Just to... Uh... No. <laughs> I will answer that. <laughs> just don't because show up here. <laughs> when we ask him, you know, you've said enough. We heard you. He goes on and on and on and will not stop. Then you can ask him to leave. We don't have to be listening to him. He can say what he wants. 
once. But to repeat it and repeat it and repeat it, then it's getting too far. Well, I agree with you, but who said, who, to, who, who invited the sheriff here? Who invites oh, an armed officer here, and who is he here to protect? Everybody. Really? We're all oh, hey, hey, hold that up. Then, then, you know what, the next time he comes here, tell him to leave his gun in his vehicle. No, I don't think they can do that. Well, I think he can, because otherwise he don't need to be in this meeting. Because you don't, because somebody called the sheriff to come to that meeting. And I don't know who it was, I don't know if it had to do with me coming here for the first time, or what it had to do with. My money's but there's, hey, nothing to do with you. I'm just saying, somebody called him and there was a reason he was here. And who was he here to protect? Because he, yes. furthermore, when he's a referee, he better referee equally on both sides. Because I've seen it pretty one way towards this guy over here. And I'm not taking anybody's sides right now, neither. Who was making all the noise? I can understand why a lot of people here are making all the noise. That's why I'm here, because I was kind of getting there concerned point, about stuff here. But there gets to be a point where they go on and on and on and won't listen to anybody I don't want to be one of them, and we're going to try not to be that way anymore. Well, we got to repeat ourselves because you laugh at us. Don't we're, take us serious. We're being heard, but we're not being answered. What was the answer? Well, what <laughs> my variance 25 years ago? What? What? I asked for a variance 25 years ago. I want it. Well, that's... That, what Hold do on, we buddy. have to do with what happened to the years That's just an example. Excuse me, isn't that a... Zone? Can we get back to Bob, Bob Brewster's overreach of power or your over, you overreach of power? Can we get back, back to that? I think you've had enough now. No, no I, I want an answer. What is the answer? I want well, you got to answer it. I just asked you a question. I'm just telling you, you can't give him power. Oh, Janet. You can't give him power. Oh, give him a chance. Can I give him a short response? Oh, here we go. Yes, you can. Sure. Bob's going to have a short response. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, Bob, this you is my response. Me. Is you need to get out your own recording of the board meeting because everything you're saying is untrue. I wrote up the ordinance, yes. Oh, we go for the vote. Will you stop talking? Do not talk while I am talking. So we had problems with the last several board meetings. So I called the association and Curry and Ruby, the people that you apparently don't like. They are the legal advice for the township. We have what's called errors and in omission insurance with the association. And they recommended an alternative. It's actually, there is a recent court case in Minnesota that a person can't be ejected for disrupting the peace based on another, unless the person is violent. We've tried to eject people based on disturbing the peace. That won't work anymore. That can't be used in Minnesota on a temporary basis. This is a fact that I've researched the facts behind that. So I wrote a prospective ordinance on the board's behalf that I brought to the meeting. When I presented it to the board, I made the board aware of several sections where they, in particular, needed to pay close attention. I hope the board remembers this and would affirm what I'm saying. Oh yeah, I coach them a little more. That, that these are, you know, I, I need coach to them. put something on paper to propose an ordinance. You have to write something in there. So I wrote what was my best guess of what the board would want, knowing the board were friends and members in the same community. Oh, you're just so, so mind reading and stuff. God. Would you stop the snide comments? That's not, that's totally inappropriate. You're telling us what the what you think the board would want. Yes, it is. Yeah, it's what I say. thought the board would want. That's you hold no power, Bob. God, you had your say. No power. You had your say. So it doesn't matter because, as I'm saying, then no I power. proposed the ordinance to the board. I pointed out strong areas and weak areas and where they could change the wording that their choices in a particular place were between the wording this way, this way, and this way. And I deliberately took the time to point out to them that they needed to decide. Well, you told them to hurry up and take a vote right after that. I did not tell them to hurry yeah, up did. anything. Right. So anyway, that is hardly, and this is all documented on your tape of the meeting. So I have not used any power whatsoever. I offered something for the board, which is what I do. And what they said then the voted, I, I am hardly Rasputin and a puppet master of the town board. You said it to cover your meeting, though, on the planning zone. No, I don't do the zoning. 
No, I, they, they were they were going to grant you permission to you know be able to kick people out too. Right. Okay. Right. They, they can't grant you no authority of that. Yeah. Sure, they can. You hold no power. Like if they want an they can't grant you power like that. Well, then I'll see you in court over that. Well, then we'll we'll yeah, that sounds good. We'll see you at the planning commission. Good. We'll yeah. test the yeah. 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 We'll test you at the planning commission. Hi, the guy. We'll see how much authority you got. I've got the authority granted well, by the board. They that lady can't give you a full shot. Here we go. What work do you do for Ogama? She can't give you no authority, buddy, that you already don't have in your description. Todd, yeah, I can. can. No, you can't. Yes, I can. Yeah. No, oh, Bob. You want to silly and treat each other silly? You like a little chicken. That's more series. power. It's all yours. Just a power grabber guy. And what are you? I'm, I'm confronting you. I'm your resident confronting well, I'm you. I'm saying what you're saying. You is can't give true. this fellow more on any power, okay? Yeah, I, 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 no, we don't need to call you can't give him no power. Right. See, that's all. They don't have the power to silence free speech right? to yeah. begin with, so it don't matter. It's end of discussion. You don't have the ability to silence free speech. And you don't want end to do discussion. It. No, this you don't want to move on. No, you're wrong, Bernie, because the minister. No, I'm not wrong. Yes, you are wrong. Where are your goddamn residents? You got to ask him. Wait, wait, wait. Let's ask him. 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 let us and they're oh, well, they can watch what's ever going on. They can listen to what's ever going on. There is no... Is that your age or your IQ, Tracy? Both. Yeah. The, uh, you're a fucking idiot. Tracy, so, so, so you left that out. Oh, inherent right. Hey, Bob, oh, everything was okay, okay so you started you, talking. You, you, you know you, that you now? Said, you, left, you said eyes and ears, but you didn't say anything about them all. You're saying that I don't have the right to free speech? No, you don't have the right to free speech. Hey, Jan. When we have a hearing, or if you put off the rails when this guy keeps running his mouth. What's that? If we have what's called a public hearing, or if you get on the agenda, as trying to be on, then you can speak. But what, can I just sign up? I have a hearing line that's long past, and just sign up. about the residents? Where are all these residents? They're right here in front of you, right here. Are you complaining about... Fuck yeah, I'm complaining. We're all sitting here for a reason. Can you make it sound like... Quit, you are quit thinking you can like give this can drunk like guy, it. he's drunk on power with his ordinances. You know, you're only giving him more more stupid power than he thinks he possesses. You can't grant him that type of power. So, if you want to prove it to us, prove it to us. Go to Rupi and get them guys to tell us yeah, she can grant you power. And, and write it up. Write it up right, because I will get it. I'd like to point out one more thing. The power isn't granted to me. It's granted whoever is chairing a meeting. Yeah, she has the power, not you, buddy. Whoever runs a meeting, a public meeting in this town, the, the, the power goes to the person that's holding the gavel. But you got her to give you power to do it at your no, meeting. No, 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 she did not. Yes, yeah. Well, then you should already have the power. Why do you have to ask for it? Because he doesn't want more toys to play. He for the power. He just so wants to play with it. Yeah. Nothing is. No, okay, I hey. Never say I already have the power. Enough. You should probably want to talk to us instead of play games with us and shut this guy up, please. Who's talking about games? Now I want to talk about. Now 